have a friend who's like, you know, Dan, my dick's so big it actually hurts women. And I'm like, man, if I wanted to hurt someone with my dick, I'd have to write something mean on it. <laughs> Just because, like, my nan died last year. I was like, a thing that happened. Uh, but don't feel bad, though. Because she was 94. Right, that's a good innings. Right, 94, great innings. And then she got hit by a cricket ball. Yeah. <laughs> I do think terrorists have dropped the ball a little bit recently, though, if I'm being honest, they do, because if you look at 9-11, that was some crazy shit, right? No matter how you look at it, to be a terrorist back then, you had to have a skill set, right? You had to be able to hijack a plane, then fly it a long way into a very skinny building. But these days, it's not like that. You know, the job interviews must be short, right? It's like, hey, man, can you drive a car? Not really. Perfect. <laughs> I mean, I've been thinking a lot about transgender people recently. Because um, it's just not something I can relate to, you know? Like, I've never had those feelings, but, like, i got questions. Like, I'd like to understand it better. It's just, like, at what point from transitioning from a man into a woman do you get paid less? <laughs> it's a valid question. 